Hi there and welcome to another weekly catch up. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, today's date as I'm filming this is Tuesday the 12th of October and it will go out tomorrow. So yesterday I drew uh, the September challenge and uh, Janet won the challenge and uh, I shall be sending this book off to her uh, tomorrow. So thank you to everybody that took part. Uh, if you've not seen this month's challenge yet, it's using up your scrapbook uh, scraps. Uh, I have had a few people say, what if I've got no scraps? Then just use up your six by sixes or the papers that, I don't know, you've either saved or you don't like. And um, I've also, somebody said, um, sorry, my, my mind just totally went then, um, that they don't use scrapbook paper, which is absolutely fine. Use whatever. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. It's, it was just a way of, I'd got scraps, so I wanted to get them used up. Uh, and I know a lot of people do do have, um, I was going to say cardboard scraps. I've got cardboard scraps too. Uh, paper bag scraps. So, yeah, just just do you. Um, you know, these challenges, they're not... The main thing is getting involved, getting some things made and you know being part of of doing something together um and sharing each other's work and you know inspiring each other i'm not so much you know um and i don't expect anybody to to go out and buy something and all the rest of it like you know if you can't do it with what we're doing it with just find an alternative it's absolutely fine um, I'm not going to be saying, oh, you can't get in the prize drawn because you've used book page instead of um, scrapbooking paper. So, yes, that is that. So, congratulations to Janet. Um, the September uh, Patreon draw has also been drawn and I did post that last week and Jennifer won that. So that was for, what was it for? The Flower Fairies uh, three CD ROM um, discs. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's already winging its way. So as we on about this month's challenge, um, we've got the lovely uh, Deco Art Tip, what uh, the lovely Rita um, donated. And we've got, uh, a happy mail from Denise and we've got a happy mail uh, from from uh, myself so this is uh, the October uh, prize draw and to be in it all you need to do is make four um, pieces up um, and then at the end of the month on the Facebook group I will um, ask for your photos and then your name will go in the Edith Holden teapot and I will just pick somebody out at random. It's not a competition for who's is the best, who's done the most um, or anything like that. It's just random. So what have I got to tell you? I've just filmed um, a haul. Um, well, I was gifted some, some products from... Um, I don't know how to say the name. It's awful when, uh, you know, somebody's giving you something. You don't even know how to pronounce the name. I think it's a bunjo. Um, and there is a couple of codes um, for their products, which is underneath uh, the video from yesterday. But I will put it in today's video too still got a few of the things on on my desk so this was one of them it's like a hundred pieces of three by three um papers uh which i thought was very good and i can't get into it and they're just tea and coffee stained uh paper so i thought you know you could back these uh and make them into little square uh journal cards or the the fabulous for um collage and things like that so they're going to live in my collage bag do need to think of a different way to 
keep my scraps. Um, it, it kind of works the way that I've got it, but they're hanging on the edge of my desk on one of these hooks. And it's a bit of a stretch around there. Um, and I've got this tin here, which is um, mainly like tissue um, type things. And I think there's tea bags in there. Um, yeah, so mainly tissue. There's the tea bags in there. If not, why not? No, I don't think there is. I need to put some tea bags in there. Um, and then the rest of them, they're like clipped like this, which is fine when you're not using them. But as soon as I take this clip off, these are just running around my desk. Um, obviously, some of them are, you know, full page because they're not so much scraps. They're either just plain uh, backing papers, which I print, you know, so many out. Uh, for collage or their leftovers from whatever um, you know um, projects I've been doing and then we've obviously got some book pages and end pages straw paper piano paper um, these are things from well I want to say six by six pad but obviously it's not six by six but whatever size that is no they're actually scraps printed all the I don't know anyway so yeah we've got a lot of full uh, pages but then we've got um, quite a lot of small ones now I do really keep on top of my scraps and the next time I do a collage I will just take this part and I won't even think what's in here it'll be just let's get this used up um, so I'm not adding to the smallness but yeah, it, it doesn't totally work. Like I say, when I'm not using it, it's fine because it's it's neat. Um, it's when I, I undo it and everything goes absolutely everywhere. So I'm going to get these tea bags uh, in the bottom. I'm going to put them right at the bottom. I'm wondering as well if this tin needs to be uh, a bit larger because... Obviously, as I go in, I'm having to take everything out of it. Now, that hole just came in this box. So, I'm wondering if this would be um, a good box to, to have them in. So, I'm going to get rid of the, the plastic. And I could probably do with um, a little box inside it with tea bags in now you're thinking well why did you take them out of the plastic i don't know i just don't like things in in a lot of plastic um especially because when i'm pulling it out as you see this is shining in the camera this bag's shining in the camera it's not um you know it's not the greatest so these are um i think they was from a your creative studio again they're just little remnants of of paper um, so I've got some decorated paper. Let's try and get that all together. So that's that. Got some just thin, um, like packing paper. I've got this textured, which I'm going to put under the tea bags because I don't. That to me that reminds me of autumn, uh, which which we've done. <laughs> this is some more like brown paper some straw paper that's some brown paper more straw paper more tea bags um oh, i've got some a few filters some neutral tissue some speciality paper more neutral tissue that's just a coffee stained um glassine bag more tissue, some piano paper, pop that underneath there, some more speciality paper. Oh, I need to clip those in, that thing. Got that beautiful burlap uh, tissue, what I've nearly finished. 
That's special as her. I've got some grey which I'm saving uh, for when I do birds. So I'm going to pop that under there. Because it's obviously not something that I'm reaching out for all of the time. Let's click these in here. Yep. Clip some in and some fall, fall back out. So that's those. There's the under there. Got some lovely brown tissue. There's some more handmade paper. So that tissue can go there. That's the straw paper. Oh, that's the brown paper. I've already seen that. That's that. So we'll pop that there. Handmade paper underneath the tissue. Um, this is just this was on a roll, but um, I think it fell off my desk, and I just thought, well, I'm gonna take it off the off the roll. And I do reach for that quite a bit. A bit more tissue, and then some remnants, and another bit of tea bag. So I'm gonna use that for something else. I haven't got a. It hasn't got um. You know, I might, because I've started now, I've got quite a bit of these, like, scrappy um, things. So what I might do is keep those in here. So I don't think this is perfect at all, but I think if I just want... Um, you know some tissue to go underneath something or whatever I can just grab this and if I want some little bits of paper I can grab that um, these are like speciality papers they're not going to fit in there of course of course they're not so yeah I'd like another box <laughs> exactly the same size as this but at the moment I'm starting to feel if you see these boxes here, um, I'm starting to fill those up with the Tim Holtz uh, projects and stuff. So they're not always full. So sometimes I have um, lots of spare boxes um, hanging about. And other times I've not. So for now, I'm just going to slip those underneath there. So that's better. But yeah, I need... I need a better system. Um, I mean, they've been in folders. I did find when I had them in a folder, I didn't pull them out. Um, but yeah, I definitely these smaller pieces need to be in something, um, and then I don't know. I don't know. Any suggestions um, would be greatly received. But. Um, yeah, I find sometimes if I just want a little bit of paper, I'm like, oh my goodness, I've got to get that out. I've got to unclip it, it's all going to fall to pieces. Um, you know, all that jazz. <coughs> now, I've not got really anywhere for these to live either. Um, I don't know what's in these boxes. Oh, what's in these? Oh, that's... Um, Um, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's just that box city. So I think they could go in there, which frees up another box. It's just <laughs> moving things, isn't it, from one box to another? But I think as you're doing different things, um, <clears throat> you're needing different things um, out what you can grab um so i think that's why we're forever changing uh, as room kind of thing for for what his needs are at that at that time now i think i might have some more of those like little paper oh yes yeah, see i've got that one so put that in there Oh, I want to take those out, actually. I think that's probably it. I think they're all die cuts ready for um, for the summer. Yeah, they're all 
or greens. So that's that. So yeah, things that um, have either been sent or I've bought um, and if, uh, you know, it, the next kind of season, I keep those in, in these baskets. Um, and then I can just pull pull them them out as, as we get to the season. Is that a paper? No, that's a sticker. So, yes, that will, that will do that. I don't know why I keep them in there because I never think that that's where they are. Um, you might have heard me a couple of times saying I don't know where those are. But I just don't have anywhere else for them to, to go. And it just makes sense, the sticky things. So, yeah, that's that. Um, so I can put that back up. Right. Oof. That's got that done anyway, because um, I've not done any collage for ages, and I don't know if that's why I haven't done any. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've not done done any for for ages, so that can live somewhere else. So what else have I got to tell you? I've had um, I've had a few little presents. So the lovely Lorna. Um, at Taylor Made Journals, um, it's lovely, <laughs> and um, she sent me some presents through Amazon. Yeah, so thank you so much, Lorna. Uh, she, yeah, she went on my gift list and um, and sent me some presents. So uh, this is the Distress Collage Medium. Uh, so it's the vintage. Um, colour. I've still got a little bit of the patty pockets left so I'm going to use that up. I'm going to keep that sealed um, until that's gone um, and I will probably use that in my Tim Holtz. Does that still open? Yes. I think it was that liquid X one I couldn't get to open and to be quite honest I don't think there's much left. I must get Ryan to try and open that but I think I'm going to order the Tim Holtz one uh, ready because yeah I think that's about down down there so yes that's that so thank you so much Lorna I'm um, excited to try that because I have loved uh, the patty pockets and it has come uh, in handy sometimes especially you know when you've not got something uh, tea dyed and, and you want it tea dyed Especially when I was doing the bow bunny um, and that was only single sided. So when I was making pockets that you could see like the inside of it, um, it was like, oh my goodness. So I just painted them with that. So she sent me the flower fairy postcards and I'm obviously going to put these away um, until springtime. So it... They, I can't believe the beautiful boxes that they, they come in. If you saw... Um, the other week, I'd uh, treated myself to um, the William Morris ones. Now, I have sent a few of these out in the post. I know when I showed them, I was a bit like, oh, well, I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep that one. But I have, I have sent about eight out so far. Um, so, yeah, I'm not keeping them for myself, but... <gasps> They're super, aren't they? And this is a fabulous box. Um, so, yeah, I need to hurry up and get them used so I can have this beautiful uh, box. It's really uh, good quality. I think I will keep it on my desk as maybe somewhere that I keep rubbers and, I don't know, things like that. Um, yeah. You always need a box, don't you? I prefer boxes to, to tins. Um, and that's really just for the filming uh, side because every time you pull a tin in it's like oh my goodness it's um reflecting so 100 of these beautiful uh flower fairies so we'll have a shall we have a quick let's have a quick one how can we not so i'm just gonna go fast and i'm gonna try not to go oh i love that one oh that's my favorite oh i love that one but i do love that one um because they're all beautiful and the paper that it's on it's as if it's on some like ribbed um 
paper and it's got a really nice look to it so you've got these which are just like the images which if i really wanted i could fussy cut those out and then you've got the more um postcardy ones so yeah i'm gonna keep them separate because i do actually think i might fussy cut those one that is my fave <laughs> That's my fave fave and I love that one stop it okay oh oh these are beautiful oh I, I absolutely love the autumn winter ones and you know honestly do you get fed up of me? Do you think, oh, she's an absolute batty? Because now I'm actually going to put the autumn winter ones at the bottom. Because when I go to use them, um, I want the spring ones to be at the top. That is spring. Colour-wise, I just thought it was uh, probably autumn winter. Summer. Summer. That's nice. It tells you what book uh, they featured. And um, so that's got these back in in here. Because I will want to do this at some point, so why not do it now? Why not? And we're looking through it, so oh, Christmas diary. Oh, and then we've got some of the ABC ones as well. Oh, that's nice. I hope you can see it okay. You've probably seen them a million times, but... Really fabulous card. They feel thicker than regular <coughs> postcards, to be honest. These are going to make great tucks and things. Or just journal cards. Oh, look at that one. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I want it on a vetch. The vetch fairy. Wallflower. <laughs> so that, <coughs> that's the alphabet. Oh, look at her. I like that there's a lot in greens as well because obviously I, I do like the, the greens, that's beautiful. It's going to be autumn. See autumn. Oh, he's <clears throat> one of the tree fairies. I would like that book, uh, but I'm going to class him as, as autumn because I think he'd fit right in with those autumn little guys. Forget my knots. Oh, sweet pain, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at this one, I've not seen that one before either. So, look at this. Oh, the self healing fairy. Oh, they're quite different. What year is that then? I say they look a lot older. 1948. And these are 1948. Is from the wayside. I'm going to put those in that <coughs> autumn one. <coughs> That's the wayside as well. But it. Oh. There, the wayside, another one which which I would like. I think the wayside in the trees, and obviously the autumn winter one. That's wayside. Uh, a really more my cup of cup of tea. Even though I love all florals, um, I do love flowers. That's wayside. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one before either. Well, that's wayside. Hmm. So they're super, aren't they? 
so thank you so much Lorna that was so kind of you and <clears throat> I did have a pretty rubbish week um was it last week when I was all angry and and all the rest of it so yeah it um it really did cheer me up so thank you so much And obviously then you've got a super duper box as well. And you know what I've done? I've the, Obviously the ribbons stuck inside. So you can make that into some kind of journal, couldn't you? Or you could make a journal to go inside it. But I think I just want to keep it. <laughs> just want to keep it. Right, so that's that. And then she sent me this lovely flora. Um, and this is the same book as the William Morris one. Um, so, <clears throat> um, I don't know if they're just if they are classed as wrapping paper because on here it just says high quality uh, paper. I suppose they are. But um, oh, look at this. This um, I don't know if. Oh no, these are all uh, dual ones because in the um, William Morris half of them was really shiny and half of them is this matte and this matte is absolutely lovely and i love the color um because I, I really like the concise book of um flora and that's got quite a white background and those books have gone so expensive so i oh, love this i'm obviously gonna this ain't gonna last long <laughs> i'm gonna gonna totally and utterly use that so when you rip them out it's perforated so you get four lots of these squares in you know in a big sheet so there's masses of paper um and i've used some of the william morris ones on insides of books because they're absolutely perfect look at that that's lovely Oh, it feels amazing and it smells really nice I just love its greenness it's so lush isn't it as much as I love autumn and I love the colours I really miss green that's beautiful yeah I've really miss green it's just so fresh and alive and beautiful so how fabulous is that and our kind is is the lovely Lorna so Lorna thank you so much and um yeah it, it came at a time where where it was much much appreciated um so it made me smile thank you so much so that's from Lorna at Taylor Made Journals um and I bought some some lace Wait. from Denise's shop and Denise is Junk Journals UK she's dropped the junk journal junk a bit hasn't she so <clears throat> this beautiful lace um, because I'm going to be doing some Tim Holtz stuff and I'm going to be doing a design team project for uh, Tina Shabby dabby doo -da. so I, I bought this one and I think Denise has, has given me this one as a buy one get one <laughs> so thank you very much um Denise gosh I forgot your name how terrible is that? <laughs> um I haven't had a coffee yet so please uh please forgive me so I'm gonna put these um with well I'm gonna put it in the Tina shop it up and do So this is what I'd gathered. I think I've already uh shown you this. So that's gonna go in there. And actually, oh and I forgot what the shop is. Cherry blossom. Um I couldn't find um my eyelash trim. I did find one after, um, and it's lovely, and it's um it's got a really different feel. Um, it's not like soft. It's I don't know. Um, but in the meantime, I'd ordered this anyway. Um, so 
Oh, I thought it, well, it did come in handy doing embellishments. So that's Cherry Blossom White. Um, I just stumbled across her. So that can live in there. Oh, and they're the little notes that was in with me. Um, Amazon presents. So they're going to go um, in my drawer ready to um, for when I make a journal. And this is what Denise sent me. A little happy mail. So let's have a look at this. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, that's so cute. Let's have a nice little dangle and a button card. So, oh, and some nice tea cards. Oh, these are original. These are in really good condition. Oh, they're lovely. And these cards, I've seen these in a in a shop. I think I might put these in with the Tim Holtz. I like the red ones. I don't know if she's got them in individual colours or <laughs> if you um, have to buy a set. But um, yeah, those red ones would look right at home with uh, Tim Holtz. Oh, and some more little cards. I th I'm guessing she seems to have a really good uh, charity shop. Um, where she lives and I think where she goes up to the caravan this summer as well because she's always got these beautiful cards. I love that cornflower blue. It's one of my favourites. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. That's stunning. Look at that big fat bee. Mmm. Oh, these ones. These haven't got envelopes. I think I've put these in because uh, you sent me some before, and I think I'm going to make them into a little notebox. These are beautiful photos, aren't they? Oh, Christmas rose. I'm going to keep that, um, put that in my Christmas things. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this rusty part with patina all over it. Love that. And this one. So that is those. Um yeah, I'm gonna put those in my um light metal where my packaging and stuff goes in and it's just random things really that need making. So I'm gonna put that in my drawer for when I do um my journal. Did I show you that I actually gathered all the things together um, that I've been sent? So it's like happy mail, cards, letters, uh, things that people have made me and sent. And I have now gathered them all together. Um, so I might start getting them out in the vlogs and trying to make some kind of sense of, of them um i don't know if to have it really eclectic or if to narrow it down but i'm imagining the majority of things are florals because that is the main thing that that people are into isn't it um oh that's a nice library card Oh, it's a letter. Oh, it's a nice library card. Mmm, very nice. Um, so, yes, they're all together. So, I, I've I've made a step. <laughs> Stepped in the right. Oh, look at that. Um, some of it, I won't have a clue who, it, who it's from, obviously, because, you know, like, there's an envelope here what has got lots of little bits in. Uh, so, I won't know exactly... Uh, whatever little bits from but, um yeah a lot of the things i've been right on sorry about that noise um my chair got stuck on the table so i'm going to put those in my to do's to do to do and i'm going to save those so i'm going to put those in where my tags and things are 
going to put those in to me halty. Um, they want going in my Christmas uh, folder. Didn't mean to pull that out. That's a bit tumultuous, isn't it? That's from that uh, Christmas uh, winter botanicals. So I'll put that in in here. Ooh, I don't want to start Christmas yet. I'm not. Um, well, I'm not doing Christmas. Christmas. I'm doing winter botanicals, which is going to be uh, whites, you know, greens and and reds. Um, and so that's everything in here for uh, that and oh yeah and I've got some that's Lorna's kit what she did last year and um, she's actually making another one this year um, so I'm going to do this like end of December, January, because to me this is winter, winter. Um, but we need the fresh uh, winter first, which is, um, you know, the greens and, and the red berries and uh, the freshness. So, yeah, I do need to separate that because that's obviously two um, different. I'm going to put those in there, actually, because I've not got a lot of, like white things oh that reminds me i could do with ordering some like poncettas um some little silk ones but yeah that um papers from from this this is the chia chia bella um the sand of winter i think i did a flip through of this so yeah this is good i mean some of it will go in with the uh blues this is very um it's it's not how i remembered it if that makes sense this goes more with the blues than it does with the actual uh botanical botanical so yeah i might save these to go with uh lorna's kit actually but i might take Hmm, don't know, don't know. Might have to do three. Might have to do three. <laughs> but yeah, I was just gonna um this I love this paper. It's so beautiful. But yeah, I'm thinking if I don't use that, I might put that in with my Tim Tim Holtz. Look at this. I love windows. Especially when it looks like that. And there's gonna be a roaring fire, isn't there, somewhere in the background. So yes, this <laughs> this is uh, very not our. I thought it was. I thought it was a lot more red, um, but yeah, it's more the blue. Um, look at that squirrel. The blues and the whites. So yeah, it looks like I'm doing doing more, 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 more. Always more, but I don't have to use it all. I could use all of it and save off. But I did buy it last year. Um, I don't overbuy things, but I do like buying something for the following year because um, I don't know. I just do. Um, I like it just to sit, um, which is weird. Yeah, I know. Um, I found my bag of Christmas stuff. I've got rid of a lot of it, but uh, these are the crackers from uh, the last family. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that, should I? Um, the the last family Christmas that we had. Um, so yeah, they was crackers from my mum's. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna put those um, away. So yeah, I need to re really look at those and think what I'm doing. But I'm nowhere near that yet, am I? Got that lovely uh, kit to do with Tina's, which is. Uh, the time traveller and I've been making some embellishments I've been making Tim Holtz ones and I made a few uh, to go with Tina's kit and I've done them more um, Tina-ish <laughs> they're glitzy and there's, they've you know got, got some lace on um, I haven't got any diamantes why haven't I got any diamantes I think I need some I've got some pearls 
so yeah, I made those and put those uh, in here. Love that one. And they were some pockets that I made um, on the Roxy Challenge. And they was the thing is, I'm going to be um, filming... Oh, you'll have already seen it, because I'm filming this before I do the challenge. Um, but Rachel has done another week's challenge, which is the um, drawing again with the alcohol inks. So I'm going to be using my stamps again. Uh, so I'm going to do them in the similar style so they can go with um, with these. See, even these really shine. So... I should be um, making a start, um, they're just some buttons and some watches, on, um, what am I making a start on? You know what I've just seen? That packaging. Uh, this was from your creative studio box. And I've not actually uh, looked in it, because they sent to me really late. Um, so I've not actually done a video on it this month. So this was in uh, the September uh, box. So, yeah, that's going to go Tim Hortz. And I think some of these are. Because I just looked at them and I thought, well, they're not really my, uh, my cup of tea. But some of these are going to be quite handy. Reminds me of like Starbucks. <laughs> it becomes a disagreement. <laughs> so yeah, I think, oh gosh, there's all these. Have I just looked through these? No. What's on that one? That's weird. I think the machine's not cut it right anyway. Oh, it's a, it's a lady looking at... Gosh, that took me a while to... to realise what it was. They're a bit Art Nouveau, aren't they? It's lots of cats. I don't get the cat thing. <laughs> Medical cannabis. Yeah, pizza. So, I'm going to do something with that. Def I mean, I don't really need to do a lot with it, do I? I might just back it. So, I'll pop that over there. Um, I'm going to put these back in the plastic and um, I'll just pull a few out what I'm going to possibly use um, in my... Tim Holtz thing imagery. So, gosh, how have I just waffled for 40 odd minutes about <laughs> nothingness? Honestly. Oh. So, yeah, this weekend was really busy. I filmed all weekend. It was Ryan's uh, weekend in at work. Um, and I filmed just solid all weekend uh, making. Um, embellishments for the Tim Holtz uh, project. So I finished filming all the autumn fall. You'll see my last project uh, this weekend. There was something that I was going to look for, I know. So pop those over there. I'm just wondering if I've got any um, diamante things. Oh, there's some clear ones, look. So I'll put them. They're not even diamond. They're just like shiny plastic. They're quite deceiving. So I'll put those in there. I'm going to say I've got some pearls. Pearls out. Right. So that's... Oh, that's that. Hmm. Quite like that colour. I might put those in. Tim Holtz, actually. Yeah, just got those couple, couple out. Ooh. Okay. Um, 
so yeah that was my happy mail and um let's see purchases oh i have just bought uh, a full kit from pink monarch prints but i won't be using it till next year it's the uh, magnolia lane one um i'm on her mailing list and um i think she has she's hit some certain goal it's a lot um of, of you know um sales on etsy and she gave out a 50 percent code and I've got in my favourites that um, Magnolia Lane because I did uh, use her flea market one. I did the junk journal um, book in it. And um, yeah, I really like the Magnolia as well. The, the flea market's got um, a touch of blue in where this has got like a vintage green in. It's very, very subtle. Um, and yeah, it was on my favourites. Uh, to buy in spring then I thought you know what I'm just gonna buy it because I think it was four uh, separate kits and um, I'd bought a grungy kit which I'm using in the Tim Holtz and she got some collage pages and I think there was only about six in them and I wasn't gonna buy them but um, yeah because it was half price I thought well I might I might as well because there was like nothingness so I've ordered this bronze uh, metallic ink uh to go with the the tim holt stuff um because i've i bought that gold and platinum so that's the gold what i've been using over autumn i wanted the um, the bronze in the brilliance but um i couldn't get hold of one so i've had it in that i think they're the same company to be honest i think it's just uh like different I don't know, like branding. So I've got this platinum, which I've still not opened because um, I'm going to use that for Christmas for the blues and the whites. Oh, that's a point. I don't. Oh, it's okay. I thought that was pretty dry, but no, I, I think those will be. Very good for. Um, you know i'm quite tempted to get some white ink because i've got some navy blue card um i'm going to i'm going to do that as soon as i stop talking um and this is going to be for tim holtz yeah white ink because i kept thinking why would you want white ink i've now realized and i've treated myself to some number tokens um i've been wanting these for ages and all oh, um the metals and that they're very hard to come by um not just metals all these little bits of things they're quite hard to come by um in the uk um and then they really expensive uh, but i found these and there was a good deal so i've had them because as i was making the embellishments um it's a bit hard to embellish because it's very you know this it's quite i don't know minimal isn't it um and like i say i'm not really into the steampunk yet. i don't mind a few cogs and stuff but um yeah i'm not that into that kind of uh look so yeah i thought these would uh be good ha <laughs> ha good good right so i'm gonna pop those in my uh tin i'll just put them all in here for now so that is that and I'm going to save that packaging and make something with that. Tim, you must do your name a little bit smaller, please, because, <laughs> because you're covering a lot of this packaging. Um, and I want to, <laughs> to save the backing because I like the colour uh, of it. So um, I, think, I think that's it. I'm going to go and make a cup of coffee. Um, I don't know if I've got anything else to tell you. Oh, um, October Patreon um, prize draw is going to be for um, this Joanna Sheen, Enchanted Christmas. Um, and 
Joanna Shoes, the one that uh, did the Edith Holden uh, one. So there's over a thousand printable images on here. So this is the October giveaway in Patreon. All you need to do is just be a Patreon um, in October. Uh, there's four different tiers um, and you can join, you know, at any tier. There's, you don't have to feel obliged to stay, you know, longer than, than the month. Um, some people just come for certain prize draws and then, um, you know, leave or, and come back at another time. It's totally uh, flexible. And again, it's random. Um, all the patrons, I will write their names down. And what is in here, actually? I've got... Oh, there's a fire. Oh, this is really good. Um, this is... Um, a lot. Um, this is the happy mail for um, the Facebook challenge. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'd totally forgotten what, what I'd put in there. Um, yeah, so that is that. And as always, thank you so much, uh, not just to my Patreons, but to everybody who... Uh, supports me in you know any kind of way uh, with words with likes uh, with donations with happy mail um, and all the rest of it I've had some beautiful um, emails um, and things and um, yeah we um, we've got us new mods in the group so the lovely Justine and Kelly have joined uh, me and Denise. So, and it's getting a lot more livelier in there. So it's brilliant um, having them on board. They're really chatty, <laughs> chatty ladies they are. Um, so yes, if you've not joined, come along, uh, join in, in the challenge. If you're still quite new and um, you don't want to share your work to you know to everybody feel free to email me pictures i really uh, don't mind um i'm obviously not going to be really offering you yeah, advice or things but it's just you know if you want someone else to see your work then um you can send it to me so i'm going because i've spoken that fast i can't breathe <laughs> Uh, thank you very much as you could probably tell i'm in uh, a lot better uh, state of mind this week i am starting to go back up to my mum's this saturday um to you know carry on with the clearing it out again um i've just had a couple of weeks off uh, because it was just feeling quite heavy um and stuff so i thought you know i need to um bury my head in the sand for you know a couple of weeks and give myself a you know a bit of a bit of a breather from it um so yeah I'm back at work been back two weeks it's going okay um they've been really really good i mean the job that i'm in it is kind of um a timed thing um so normally you know performance and that is um <clears throat> you know it is a big thing but um yeah they've you know they've said with with me illness and um my mum that um yeah you know they're not going to be and they haven't been and um yeah it's funny because i mean i speak to everybody as you can imagine um but you know some people it's just hello good morning and that kind of thing but um yeah i've had a lot of people uh, it's <laughs> get into conversations with me who, who perhaps haven't before and um yeah it's i don't know because i think losing i mean you know I, i'm just speaking about losing losing a mother uh, and i don't want to compare it to to any other kind of loss but um it's it's um if i think oh dear i can't I can't put it into words. Um, I think when you've dealt with that yourself and you know how hard it is, how painful it is, um, how you know sad it is, and how lost and vulnerable and all these things, 
um, it kind of brings you together. So I've had a lot of people come up to me and say, I've lost my mother, um, you know, and I know how you feel. And not people that, you know, I normally would have big conversations with. So it's, um, yeah, it's been really, really nice. And I will definitely, um, you know, pass the kindness on. Um, and, yeah, so that's all, all I need to say about that. Um, so... I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for joining me. And thank you all for your support and kind words. And I shall see you soon. Bye.